heavy rains and rugged terrain are hindering rescue efforts in the jagged mountains towering over the Croatian seaside town of Dubrovnik. Commerce Secretary Ron Brown and 32 others were on a military plane that crashed today in a violent storm. There are no known survivors at this time. Croatian Air Control says the plane was cleared to land at Dubrovnik's airport, but instead it apparently went off course and slammed into a cloud-shrouded mountain. Brown's party was arriving from Tuzla, where U.S. peacekeeping troops are based. The formal position of the government that Secretary Brown is presumed dead? That is the is formal that? position of the government that... Uh, uh, the aircraft uh, that he was on appears to be um, the aircraft that uh, has gone down in the mountains uh, um, in Croatia. And uh, what we're doing now, of course, is trying to confirm as many of the facts as we can about this. Later, the State Department clarified that remark, saying its formal position is that Ron Brown is missing. CNN's Jackie Shemansky has more on the Brown trip. A commercial mission brought U.S. Secretary of Commerce Ron Brown to the Balkans. The trip to Bosnia and Croatia was meant to complement the U.S.-led military mission by emphasizing the civilian side of the Dayton Peace Accord. Secretary Brown and a delegation of high-level U.S. executives first traveled to Tuzla on board the very same plane that U.S. Defense Secretary William Perry flew in just last week. The plane is the Air Force equivalent of a Boeing 737. The delegation was briefed on the military success of the peace process. Secretary Brown met with U.S. troops at a base camp not far from a former confrontation line. The tour was then to continue on to the coastal port of Dubrovnik in Croatia. Over 30 people were believed on board the secretary's plane, including government personnel and business executives. U.S. Ambassador Peter Galbraith awaited the Commerce Secretary's arrival in Dubrovnik. But five minutes short of the anticipated landing, Croatian authorities report losing radar contact with Brown's plane. Weather was poor. A search and rescue effort was mounted by both NATO forces in the region and Croatian authorities. NATO helicopters covered both the mountainous area around Dubrovnik and the Adriatic Sea. The plane apparently hit a mountain, and Croatian searchers have found both wreckage and bodies. Jackie Shemansky, CNN, Tuzla. The Pentagon is offering no immediate clues about the cause of the crash. The military says there are no indications of a problem other than the obvious bad weather. Here is the runway structure out here. The aircraft approach would have been from this direction. Okay, we're heading now we're to the west side toward Dubrovnik. We're heading to the southeast and landing in the direction of 120. I can't tell you why they were where they were, nor am I in a position to speculate. Uh, we, that's exactly what General Coolidge and the Accident Board will attempt to determine. The Pentagon does say there is no evidence that hostile fire hit the aircraft. President Clinton is canceling his public schedule for tomorrow. He will still sign legislation, but with less ceremony. A somber president and first lady went to the Brown home in Washington to comfort the family. As chairman of the Democratic National Committee, Brown was influential in steering Bill Clinton to the White House in 1992. Later, the president traveled to the Commerce Department to reassure workers there. He called Brown one of the best advisors he ever had. Mr. Clinton was apparently Amen. moved, clearly moved, over the apparent loss of a close friend. His favorite uh, scripture verse was that wonderful verse from Isaiah. They who wait upon the Lord shall have their strength renewed. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and faint not. Well, Ron Brown walked and ran and flew through life.